All right, here coming to preach, Tanya Haley. Okay, I'm going to pray real quick, okay? Um, thank you, Father, for allowing me to get this opportunity tonight, Lord, to just give your word to these people, Lord. I just pray that this message would, would be all of you and none of me, Lord, that it would touch somebody tonight, Lord, and, Lord, that it would penetrate their hearts, Lord, and that it would make them move in a positive way, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay. Um, you have to bear with me because I really rack my brain. I prayed and prayed and prayed all day, so um, I'm pretty sure this is what the Lord wanted me to give. Who's here tonight? Okay. How many times have you gone through something and feel like, why me, Lord? I am I'm doing all the right things and why am I going through this? No, no. Anyway. I am doing all the right things, and why am I going through this? A few months ago, I got involved in a situation that I knew that the Lord had told me to steer clear from. Yes, um, we all go through things, and yes, we are not perfect. I'm kind of adding this in there. Um, although that you see people on the outside you think that everything everybody has it together and that they're not going through anything and that is not the case I'm pretty sure everybody in here is going through something um, <clears throat> we just learn how to we learn how to give it to the Lord anyway I'm gonna start I'm gonna get back on track to start out with I called myself doing the Lord's work but then I allowed the enemy to whisper in my ear along the way I blatantly stepped out of the will of God I did. This me. During this time, my world seemed to be crumbling all around me. I had stopped praying and seeking the Lord like I should. All along the way, the enemy tried to tell me that I wasn't good enough, that I had known better. You know, he tried to get me off course. He tried to make me feel like that I had done so wrong that I wasn't meant for the kingdom. Well, I knew that I had to cling to God to help me get out of this situation. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I will not go back. I will not go back to the way I was. I will not allow him to tell me any different. And because I knew the word, the Lord spoke to me and told me that I was better than my situation. So I began to pray and seek him. And I, and I also had many people praying for me. I couldn't understand why I was going through all this because I felt as I was doing all I should. Why wasn't he fixing it? Why wasn't he moving that mountain? Why was I still going through the fire? Why didn't I feel him? Why couldn't I hear him, you know? And he gave me this scripture, 1 Peter 6, 9. In this... What's she doing? Oh, there we In this, greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have grieved by various trials, that the genuineness, genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, Though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory of the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen you love, though now you do not see him, yet believing, that's where the faith comes in, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation to your souls. This scripture has rang in my spirit for months and months and months. And believe it or not, I, um, I know that our church has went through several things that we may not have answers to. The loss of loved ones, um, the resurrection of some loved ones. You know, we don't always understand why things happen the way they do, but we have to trust God. You see, God never promised us that we, we wouldn't face a struggle or go through difficult situations. He did promise that he would be there with us, that he would never leave us nor forsake us. He has promised to protect us, love us, and uphold and strengthen us. The word proves over and over that our faith will be tested. Job was tested when the enemy took all he had. Daniel in the lion's den was tested. 
Paul and Silas was tested when they were sent to prison. Abraham was tested when God told him to sacrifice Isaac. We will go through the fire and not realize that it was a testing of our faith. In the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were literally put in a fiery furnace and came out whole with no scars or burns. Our faith must remain even when we don't understand why. 1 Peter 4.12 says, Don't think it is strange when you face fiery trials. Okay, that's not what I got, but okay. You can take it down. You must always keep in mind who the author and finisher of your faith is. It's always it's always easy to go through things and blame everybody around you or fester in that, you know, poor pitiful me. And when it, the easy, simplest way to go about it is, is to pray to God and give it to him. People think it's so hard, but it's really it's really that simple. And when you trust in him, it always comes out better. We must worship through our trials and, and the rest in the fact that we know that he is in control. So many people get wrapped up in the problem and lose focus on God. The problem then becomes their God, and eventually they get so wrapped up in the devil's lies that they end up back where they started, if not worse. When we go through the trials, it is also it is not important on what we are going through, but how we respond when we do. Are you going through the fire? How are you responding to your situation? Are you allowing it to bring you down? Or are you allowing are you going to stand on God's word? In Romans eight, thirty seven through thirty nine. It says Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Savior, our Lord. You are more than a conqueror. The Word says it, and it cannot lie. You see, when I went through my situation a few months back, the Lord kept telling me, you're a child of God. I knew that what I was going through was not meant for me that I didn't have to be stuck in the situation because I was more than a conqueror his grace led me through the trial you see even though I stumbled and I made mistakes God still loved me anyway even after even after my salvation I know I can stand before you and give God the glory in my life just as it said in 1 Peter 6 9 earlier God will prevail, but we must remain faithful. Are you going to trust God or the enemy? If you bask in the ne negativity and claim it over your life, that is what will continue to happen. And I see this a lot. I see people who go through things and ask for prayer, which is fine, but continue to bask in that negativity and say that the Lord is not helping you. Well, you won't let the Lord help you. That's why. You must speak life into your situation. You believe God for the impossible. My sister Rusty was, um, I did, she knows that I'm doing this. Just so you know. <laughs> she was put on trial a few months back for aggravated assault and battery. And she was facing one to three years in prison on a 10 year sentence. We knew that the county that she was being tried in played no games. Neither did the judge she was going before. We prayed to God that he would bring a new judge in, give her a house arrest, although this county was known for not giving the house arrest. When we, when we went to court, we went before a new judge, and she was granted six months house arrest on a ten, in 10 years probation. She never did go do a day in jail. Um, I was telling a friend of mine today this story because um, they're going through something. And my thing is, is I told them, I said, you put limitations on God, what, whatever you believe is what, what you're going to get. You know, like if you believe, like if we were to believe that God was only going to give her, you know, six months in jail, we'd have got six months in jail. But we was believing for the, almost the impossible, you know, six months house arrest. This was not, you know, DeKalb County don't give house arrest, but they did that day. 
So anyway, she believed that God would work in her situation, and he did. And what, what to the natural eye seemed impossible, God made possible. She came out. She withstood the fire, because she believed, and came out shining, giving God all the glory. And that's what that scripture states, you know, like we're going to go through the fire, and at the end of it, we're going to be able to say, God did this, you know. See, when we go through these trials, we not only see what God can do, but but we also grow spiritually. We grow in perseverance and in patience. And, and, and in patience. Like I said before, we may not always understand why we're going through the fire, or may not even understand why he is not answering us like we think he should. But trust and rest in that he has the ultimate plan for you. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 tells us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. I, I even find myself asking now, why me, God, in good situations? Like when Bishop asked me to give this message, or the message before, or how about when he asked me to go to Peru? I asked him, why me? You see, it ain't about you, and it's not about me. It's all about the Lord and what, he ha- what his plan is. Even when we feel unworthy, we are the children of the Most High God. He loves us no matter what we do, and we are called. We are all called. Where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. Remember that Garrett said Sunday, oh yeah, we are one with God. He lives inside of us. With God, all things are possible, and he is right there with you, just as you call him. I know for me, I always feel like I'm not good enough. I don't think that I should be standing up here. Um, but apparently God thinks that I should be. And, um, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, even when you don't feel worthy, you're worthy. And God can use you just like he's using me. He can do, he can take you overseas to Africa with them. Don't put limitations on him. And that's all I got.